please God, let him be okay. That's really all I kept saying and all I kept thinking is, please God, let him be okay. We are so protective as parents and I just couldn't understand how this even happened to us because we never take our eyes off of them. I had came back from work earlier there in the day and uh, my little boys, I picked them up from the babysitter after they got out of school and everything. And we went to the house and they was playing and everything. Well, uh, we met some people um, down the road from our house. They was wondering where we lived at, so they came to visit and uh, didn't realize where Dayton was when they left and, uh, and they ran over him. And, it was uh, a half ton pickup truck. It was a half ton pickup truck. He just calls me and he just <clears throat> was panicking and I could hear Dayton crying in the background and he said that, um, you know, a truck just ran over Dayton, meet me at the hospital, we're going right, with, right over there. Five-year-old Dayton was rushed to the hospital nearest his hometown of Bazile, located just outside of Lafayette, Louisiana. They didn't have any, neurosurgeons are quite the specialists that they have here. When they did a CT and saw that he had head trauma, they said, we have to fly him to Our Lady of the Lake. After numerous CT scans and tests in the pediatric emergency room, Dayton was admitted to the pediatric intensive care unit at Our Lady of the Lake Children's Hospital in Baton Rouge. The nurses were checking his pupils pretty often and monitoring his vitals, and they noticed that um, one of his eyes was turning and not dilating as the other one was. So they rushed him for a CAT scan, and that's when they found that he had had a massive stroke. Um, apparently his carotid artery was broken or dissected in the um, accident, and there was, had been no blood flow to that left part of his brain for quite a while. Dayton's brain was swelling so badly that neurosurgeon Dr. Fraser Landrino had to remove parts of Dayton's skull. This was only the first surgery for Dayton. His brain continued to swell. It was Charlie and Katie's worst nightmare, and they were faced with a decision that every parent dreads. Dr. Landrino came in, and they were about to take him for another CAT scan, but when he saw what was happening with the eye and the pressure, he said, we have to take him back to surgery. Um, he explained to us that that part of the brain was already dead from the stroke and that he would remove that portion to allow more room for the swelling. He did tell us that there was only a 3% chance that he would ever speak again because of the part that they were removing. But it was uh, necessary to save his life. The Swear family relied on their faith and placed their trust in the hands of the specially trained team at Our Lady of the Lake Children's Hospital and Dr. Landrino. So they took him right away to surgery. Uh, that's a moment I'll never forget. We were gathered around him praying before they took him to surgery. And you know, even the nurses joined in with us and prayed for him. The left front temporal lobe of Dayton's brain was removed. After this second surgery, the Swear family had to wait and hope. We felt like we had the winning team here. They had the knowledge, you know, they had the talent, they had the technology, but they had even more than that, you know. They, 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 to sit there and pray with us and you know, to just Talk to have us, faith and just hope. They were hoping just like we were hoping. After Dayton's accident, doctors were not sure if he would ever walk or talk again, but the Swear family relied on each other. Dayton no longer needs his wheelchair or speech therapy, and he recently celebrated his sixth birthday with his family. It was rough. I was worried. I was scared, but I, I never lost hope. And to hear the doctors finally tell us that the CT came back and the swelling decreased. That's when we knew that things were looking better. It was amazing because when Dr. Langeno came back after the surgery, uh, like a few days later, and Dayton was already starting to talk and he started saying first words. Dr. Langeno kind of was really excited. And a few days later, he come back and Dayton was already saying sentences. And here it is just a few months later and he doesn't even need speech therapy. We was told it's, it's, it's a miracle.
If you're in the business of creating miracles, you have to believe in them, and they do here. Dayton's miraculous recovery inspires us all, and his words are music to our ears. I love you, Ten Million. Ten Million. <laughs> <laughs> That's big like the sky, huh? Our Lady of the Lake Children's Hospital. We believe in making things better for children.